Christ, I should put up a 10 minute video? Um, I am just gonna get right into this because this is just getting boring as fuck and I'm enjoying doing the other videos I've been doing. Um, but I know this gets the most views, so. I do put up other videos. Feel free, watch them. And again, leave comments, let me know. Let me know what to do better, what I'm doing wrong. I, I have no issues with constructive criticism. Uh, it, it just it, let me know what I can do better, all right? But yeah, I'm just gonna get straight into this video. I have it at 1.5 speed because it's her first official weekly weigh-in. You'll never believe this. She didn't lose weight. <laughs> that, that's my first guess. She didn't lose any fucking weight. Um, I just noticed the crew is a little bit lopsided. There we go. There we go. Much better. Um, she doesn't obviously look like she's losing weight and I'm using the, um, my high def 4k monitor and I'm like, her face looks wrong. So, <sighs> all right, let's, let's just straight in, let's just straight in. Hello guys, welcome to a new video. I did really want to film this video because it is my Monday weigh-in, my official first Monday weigh-in to see how much I lost the first yeah, week you lied. of getting back on track. We so know. I don't know what it is, but I just oh, my went hair to bed is just... Sunday night, which was the 13th of I August, absolutely and I was like, trimmed. I need to wake up and change a lot of things. I need to go on a self-love journey. I need to stop getting high. I need to put better food in my body. Isn't this what we've all been telling her? 10 years now, 10 years, 10 years. Who believes this? Because I fucking don't believe it. I don't believe she's gonna make any changes. She's just gonna continue down the fucking path. She came to a fork in the road when it was when it, when she had her cancer. She she came to that fork in the road, lose weight, get healthy, so then we can monitor and make sure you know if the cancer got into lymph nodes that it isn't spreading. She chose the path that leads to the grave because uh, she has made it's been what two years, two and a half years. She's the biggest, I mean, she's not in moon phase, phase because she now doesn't have collagen anymore, so everything is drooping. Um, I went through menopause eight years ago, so um, but she, doesn't, she doesn't clean her face, so you know she's not using moisturizer, so instead of going moon face, you can see where she, normally she would have had the moon face, it's drooping. It's doing what my face is doing. You can see it, right? Because I don't have the tightness anymore. See? It's what happens when you go through menopause. And she did it at, what, 29? So obviously not taking care of herself. Less food in my body, I need to lose weight, I need to be more productive, I need to just treat yeah. myself better in every single aspect. Like, so many different things yeah, that I need know. to check off. And it, it's Dude, a lot, it's, but in this last week, I have not repeat, felt repeat, repeat. this Rinse, energized, repeat. Rinse, this productive, repeat. this clear-minded. Like, I truly, truly feel so much better. And I have Whatever. decided that I'm not going to be sharing what I'm doing to lose yeah, weight because there are so many not, people with strong opinions. And I have the personality Because uh, you don't want to be held accountable. See, that's why I started doing mine. I put my info up there I, and all that stuff so people would hold me accountable. Type where it's like, if I hear several people saying like, oh my God, this is a bad idea or whatever it may be. Whatever. It doesn't matter if you're losing the fucking weight. Shh, tune them out. Tune them out. Fuck them. Mind you, you never listen to anything anybody tells you, except for when people criticize you, then you go, oh, okay, I'm going to stop. You fucking Ian idiot. It messes with my brain. That's just like who I am. Whatever. So then I start to sit back and I'm like, crap. Then go to a psychiatrist and don't quit after two appointments. You go to a psychiatrist, you stay with a psychiatrist, then you go to therapy and you stay with a the therapist for more than a month. You need to stick with specific people so then you can build up a history because this career is not gonna last, Amber. You're on the downswing. And if you want to even think about getting some form of state aid or even SSDI because of your weight, you're gonna have to have medical records from the same doctor for more than a year. You need a history. You're gonna need psychology history. You're gonna need all that shit or you're gonna get fucking denied. Because 
I had all that shit, and they denied me. And then it took four years for me to get it. Four and a half. Four and a half fucking years where I struggled. And my only saving grace was my bitch of a mother had, you know, Section 8 housing, and we moved in with her, and... Well, she moved in because it was a complicated issue, but if you've watched my videos, you know what happened, but still. Um, am I doing something wrong? Like, should yeah. I stop doing this? Like, yeah. this has happened Just, so yeah. many times in my weight loss journey here on YouTube. So I think I'm trying my hardest to like prevent that from happening. And it's just like protecting me, God, protecting my energy, shit. protecting over myself, and over and over again. My progress and my success. But anyways, <sighs> let's like totally get into it. So here is my weigh-in from August 14th, which was last Monday. Don't believe it. When I weighed that, I was so shocked. I, it definitely no, made me won't. like, you've been yeah, fatter. today's the day. Today's the day to throw out anything you've ever known about weight loss about you dumbass you were so fucking dumb the, the wake up call should have been the fucking cancer because you got that fucking cancer because of how fucking fat you are but uh, you know the cancer didn't make you change your ways look at you 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 you've had so many fucking opportunities that so many people would wish for i i mean the amount of money you fucking made in look, look you're you don't even you could have bought a fucking condo a condo and own your own property in, in... Any of my past mistakes that I've made, I need to throw it all out and I need to start completely fresh. Because usually when I would go into you like can't do that. a new diet or you a can't. new journey or whatever, I would go this back is... all the time and like look at my past mistakes. Jesus fuck, this is so fucking boring. I absolutely understand where everybody's coming from. This is, this is the... She doesn't understand how fucking boring... This is boring. This is boring. You're... Let's see. Yeah, this she's okay, I'm a reactor, so yes, of course, I'm sitting here in the same fucking spot. I have my fun with these guys moving them around and doing that shit, and I got a nice pack sitting there because Kim came by and her knees all fucked up. But I, I, I at least try to get out and, and do go do things, and I do go out and I go do things. And I mean, I've shown you shopping videos. I've I, this this is this is this is boring. This is I I completely understand why your viewership's going down. Because it's the same, it's rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. Every fucking video, it's, here's my Legos, this is blah, 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 weight loss, blah, 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 so sad. And, oh, look, I'm losing weight. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. And I'm cooking shitty food. Every fucking video. And this is so boring. You had 15 days of this boring shit and this is still fucking boring because you're just going to talk and talk and talk and none of it's going to make fucking sense. You're going to say all these platitude bullshit things you learned on TikTok or the stupid fucking posters people put up of, you know, the live free peace and all that bullshit. Ugh. I, I just, oh my God. And be like, okay, we'll do that, then I'll do that, because I was successful doing that, etc. But like, no, obviously I would never successfully do no, anything, because I'm literally over five pounds. So everything I told myself I was going to do, I have done. And that's crazy, for everything, because you guys know me, I no, know a lot. I do. And what about the, because of mental illness, or... Because you're still obviously using a filter to make yourself look thinner. Obviously, I mean, because I can see the, 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 I don't know if you're going to catch it, because I do this in 1080, uh, but 4K screen. A slimming filter is just... They're not working for you, hon. They really aren't. And it doesn't help again because you're not you're not replacing your collagen. Whatever it may be, it, it, it's true. I, I don't know how to stick to things, and I'm always flip flopping with things and changing my mind. I'm just a super indecisive person, and you know, with my no, you're just mentally ill. You you you've go. We none of us know exactly what you have because you you you. It, you doctor shop, you you diagno diagnostic shop, and you probably Google like symptoms and come up with these bizarre things. And it, it's like, I don't know. I just know you must have one of the issues my mother had, because she had a a, a combo of a couple. And one was BPD, one was narcissism, and one was the schizoaffective bipolar disorder. And I'm like, I don't know which one you have. I don't because I'm not a psychologist, but Jesus fuck, you, you need to fix what the fuck's going on in your life because you are going to end up alone. You're going to end up at that point where no one wants anything to do with you and you don't even have fucking kids to, to help 
to be there because they feel obligated because you're the parent. She's going to end up in a care home when she becomes bedbound and she doesn't have a caretaker to take care of her. I always let that and win. I don't care. And I always choose food over my health, over yeah. my happiness. Yeah. Dogs. Give it a little tiny beep and bark. Yeah. Yeah, that's what dogs do. It will... One very bad. Why did she keep this in? It underlies the the dark shadows, the huge chin, chin, neck chin, and then this huge grease lump out. Obviously not washing your hair. The this again, you're editing on a phone, so you're not catching the the clumped up greasiness of your hair you're not seeing it you're thinking you look all hot and everything but when people see this on the big screen you look like shit you look like it, it and you chose you chose to keep this in and yes dogs bark at the stupidest damn things try having a husky that if someone walks past a window goes nuts and just rrr, 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 deep bark not a sh short little yip, yip, you know no <laughs> middle of the night rrr, 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 yeah no <laughs> whatever you okay baby girl so one week later here is my weigh-in. 528.4 pounds. Don't believe so that it. Means in total. And Don't believe it. Don't believe it. Don't believe it. Yeah, you, well, why would we believe? You, you could be doing anything. You could be setting your scale on a towel. You could be leaning on the counter. There are so many things you can do to fuck with your scale. I accidentally once, without even thinking about it, stepped on my scale and it was holding for balance the, the door jam. Because... So I'm not going to believe it. I'm not. Um, even for shits and giggles, I did the thing where you put the towel on the ground. I think, see, because I saw someone say that that can be a way. It does. E e on my scale, and I have the Weight Watchers scale with the little zap zap things that zap through and they check all your water and your density, bone, all that shit. I was 20 pounds lighter. I was at 206 pounds. And I was just like, damn. Okay, that works. But... Why would I want to lie to myself? Why does she want to... I mean, legitimately, this is so stupid. As big as you are, why fucking lie to yourself? This is your health. This is... In one week, I'm down 14.6 pounds. Like, that's a lot. No. And already, I know... You don't look Like, it. that's not going to be happening every week. No. Not even anywhere close to that. Because just... Hun, to, to even change how you look, you are going to have to lose 50 to 100 pounds. In the last two days i've only been down 0.6 pounds and i've been doing everything the same that i have been doing it's just when anyone starts a weight loss journey they always lose the most amount of weight you've been on a weight loss journey now for 10 years it's not a weight loss journey you're a weight gain journey you are a weight gain journey that's all you've done is gain weight and gain weight and gain weight you you, you there is no weight loss journey uh until i can visibly see it or you go to the doctor's office and you do the weigh-in at the doctor's office and have the nurse legitimately like show us them zeroing out the scale making sure and do the old scale you know where you have to step on you have to do the, the thingy and then i might believe you okay unless you pay the freaking nurse 100 bucks to lie one. Honestly, for me, it's been super like motivational to lose weight that quickly. And if, if I'm you being are, 100 yeah. honest, knowing that it I've does. lost less than a pound in the last two days, doing the same. I, if, she, if she legitimately is losing this weight, then yeah, it is a motivator. But how often? She she took the ozempic, ozempic, whatever you want to call it, the the diabetes medicine that helps with weight loss. It was working, and you quit it. Because, oh, my cause gallbladder issues. You know, honey, gallbladder issues are f whatever. Okay. My mom had hers removed. I it's fine. Losing the weight's far more important. Sorry. Thing I have been doing for the rest of the week, it does scare me. Because my past self, past Everlyn, would look at that as a failure. But right now, I'm looking at that as, like, new. A plateau. Like, so it's called a plateau, you dumb. From Monday to Monday, you have lost 14.6 pounds. Like, that is pretty much almost 15 pounds. And then another... I mean, how many times is... So, yeah. The way that I have loved looking at this is I started last week in the 540s. I'm now beginning this week in the 520s. That's a big, big change. Like, truly this. So, for this week, I have the same goals. I want to continue doing what I have been doing. But I think there is a few tweaks and a few adjustments that I would like to make. Don't, no, no. Oh, my God. If, you, if you're legitimately losing the fucking weight, even if you hit a plateau, don't fucking stop. Don't make tweaks. Don't make... Don't. Just don't. Just don't. Just don't. Don't. 
If it's working, leave it. Let it go for one whole fucking month. One month. Let it get established and you're good. It's just already going to fuck it up. I really, really, really want to like open up a little bit more about that, but I cannot help that like just that fear in the back of my brain. I just I don't feel comfortable yet. And so I go back and forth, like literally within an hour. Where I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to tell my audience what I'm doing. I'm just going to myself. And then that same hour, I'm like, no, 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 don't do it. So yeah, it's super conflicting. But regardless, I do want you to do it. Maybe tweak it a little bit. I guess I could say out loud, maybe. Don't fucking tweak it. Just a little bit less carbs. I'm not doing like low carb by any means at all. I will say that things. I haven't had month and a half was the last time I had spaghetti. Taken out of my diet. I do not allow myself like any like sweet junk, like no candy, so hard, no ice cream, so hard, things like that, because those are things that I have been eating, like cookies and just none of that, because that is so... Yeah, that, that's, that's, you don't. I, 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 allow my, I, allow, I allow myself two of these a day. These are the, the Hershey's They don't melt as fast as the chocolate I really like, which is Arrow Bars. They're from England. They're at World Market. I, I'm a chocolate I accept that. It, and that's the thing. When you, when you... It's not restricting. It's when you treat treats as a treat and only have them occasionally. When you do have them, oh my God, it's so good. It, it, it's just like having a really good steak. Like I don't eat red meat anymore. But when I do, I go out of my, it's either filet mignon or a porterhouse. Um, we are thinking for Labor Day of getting a Tommy Hawk steak um, and grilling it. But it's like, if I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out of my way and actually cook, have it cooked and done really, really well. Yeah. Because it's gonna be my cheat. Freaking triggering for me, like on a whole other level. I have a massive sweet tooth. I, hands down, I bet you I could eat a whole box of fudge rounds, which are eight in one box, in one sitting. I know I could. Like, I literally know I could. I could. That is it. how bad my sweet tooth is. And how comforting sweet food is for me. Like, it is so... It, 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 it's called, you look at this stuff, it's a lifesaver. It, it's still, I opened it before I started this video. You look at it and you go, is this worth me having a heart attack? Is this worth me potentially having too much of it and dying? It, so comforting, like a whole other level. Um, it's almost like medicine. And yeah, that's it's crazy a dopamine. to admit aloud because I don't know if I ever It's dopamine. It makes you feel good. Are you really that stupid? If you've been to a psychiatrist and you've been to therapists, then you should know about the dopamine addiction. That yes, sugar is dopamine. Before <sighs> that, like there are certain foods that feel like medicine to me. Like if yeah, I need because it has a like ton of sugar in it, it has high fructose corn syrup in it. It's got a ton of sugar. That's why they do it. The sucralose and the aspartame. It causes the dopamine receptors to go crazy in you to want more. God, yeah, you numbed out, like fucking... I'm super sad, or I have anxiety, or yeah, like you eat it and like, you feel better. Have, like, my you feel good. Cream. Again, my mom, same thing. She, her, her, her thing was she, they, the. You know how people, the opiate epidemic or the narcotic epidemic and how people would get high. My mother was always in a low, so she would take this stuff and take too much and she would feel good. She would feel good. Oh my God, I feel good. I feel good. And it's because it's hitting those receptors. Instantly, all my like, worries, all my sadness, I I don't care. all of that just completely goes away. It is wild. Yeah. But then after I'm done with that bowl of ice and Then you cream, crash and you want more. Regret and yeah. All of the sadness comes back. You are. You, you, so okay, this, this right here, this, her doing this proves she has never gone to therapy or she has, she's never stayed with anybody to understand the, the ramifications of the shit she does because she doesn't stick to anything. Again, it's what my mom did. And the only reason why she had to stay with therapy and she had to do this is because her fucking cancer doctor said for me to continue to give you pain meds you have to go see a therapist and you have to see him twice a week and you need to see a psychiatrist once a month because of these and i'm no longer oh like in a fake happiness state of mind and yeah i'm no longer numbed out by what i just yeah. ate and if anything it, it makes me gain more weight and i'm putting oh what you know, the fuck who is she listening to and now in the long run that's what, obviously uh, doing I mean, more harm than who good. is she you know that instant gratification i get yeah, 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 yeah. Little ice cream which what takes seven minutes to eat like seven minutes okay. is she talking like a quart of ice cream that she she devours in seven minutes i mean 
That, that's just a weird thing to say. Seven minutes to eat ice cream, but it's how much ice cream? Are you filling up like a, a Super Bowl full of ice cream, which then would be like half a quart? That's, I mean, brain freeze to the, oh my God. Like, it's just not worth it. And it feels like it, like in that time yeah, where you're like, this it's a it, dopamine like, yes, this reaction. Oh my God, this is great. Like, this is doing it for me. But then instantly afterwards, I feel miserable. So that's a yeah, really, really big crash. thing I have taken away. So then you eat you more. You know, the heartbreak diet. I was eating more. a lot of things yeah. that I should not have been eating. Like, it was bad, Ooh, folks. Like, mm -hmm. uh, it got really bad. Um, I think it was my worst eating that I've done in a very, very long time. Years. Years. It feels oh, really man. nice to be free of that. And You're I, not free of really it, hon. Proud of You're not free of it. You're never free of it. The only time... It, 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 oh, God, she's a fucking moron. Again, dopamine addiction through sugar is going to take at least a month for you to purge your entire body of sugar and the need for sugar. Self, you got this. I promise you got this. Don't turn to the wrong foods. Don't mess up on what you planned out for yourself. It has been a challenge. I've had moments where I wanted to mess up, where I've wanted to go off my plan, but I stuck through it somehow. And I will say like, I'm not being super restrictive. Like I'm still allowing myself takeout. You guys saw yeah. that. Like Yesterday in my vlog, I mentioned I had sushi. I've been showing you like yeah. my Mediterranean uh, meal. You can, that I love you to get. can like, order out. Myself you to have you just have to be very, very aware of what you're ordering. It's just choices. Because if I don't, your girl will spiral and she will never be successful, ever. I know a lot of people don't. You don't have to be successful. God, she equates so much shit. It is, oh my God. Oh, she's just, and it's the same. She's saying the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. She just keeps going back to the beginning of her whole spiel and just says it a little bit differently. It's the same shit. She said in the very beginning, oh my God. Like, I'm going to be successful. Out, I have to be successful. Know, I can't be doing this. And, okay, but I'm going to be successful. It's not. By doing you know, that, because I'm not eating the things that I should be eating. So shouldn't I be the eating. So that I have made this last week have obviously been the right choices. And I'm just very proud of that. And yeah, I will share more eventually, obviously. Honestly, this looks like it's its own like separate video. So, we have like a weigh-in moment like i haven't had like Whatever. a strict weigh-in video in like a hot yeah, minute but i don't believe like, it again i know i've kept you guys updated like with my weight and my you're still the week, monstrously huge you still have three like, chins have, like one full video for you guys your like, your um, boob butt cleavage is still going I'm, almost I'm, like, all the way up because, to your you know, I'm well i don't know where her neck is so your dowager's hump at the back of your neck is still your dowager's hump i mean you just you don't have your hair up in a shit bun so and you still you've got all this right yeah, you can see the, the, yeah, she's, she's using a filter. Like, keep going. So, like, when things get it really slips busy around here, I'm not going to, like, film, edit, upload all the same day, because that's what I've been trying to do. So, I'm trying to figure out, like, what I want to do maybe in that regard, because if I do Monday weigh-ins, then obviously you guys won't be getting those, like, on Monday. So, it is a little... Because, again, all right, so, the, the thing with collagen and menopause is everything starts to do this, Okay. And as big as she is, she, she's out here and her eyes are sunk in. So all of the fat is starting to pull at the skin. So it's starting to puddle down here, which is giving her, she already has a nice donut going around her face of fat. But you can see the skin's drooping down. It, it, uh, I'm also an artist. I do a lot of drawing and stuff. And it, it's so strange because on this side it's coming in and then coming down on this side it's still fucking round and i'm like is that the filter or is that legitimately confusing like i know you guys are seeing this on tuesday because or I is it her hair i do not upload creating Monday. a shade I don't know what, what it is but that's just like that's a no for me i don't know i'll figure out either way you guys will definitely but it, it's also causing this she's got the the frown lines and she's got these lines and again i am 20 22 years older than her. That That's it. A little facelift. I could do, like, just do the... What was it? They do it like... They, I know they take a whole bunch of skin and then they pull it up back. Behind. There you go. God, she's looking far older. She, she doesn't look 32. She looks closer to 42, 43. Be annoying my weight and my hands. Uh, and I am and like, without her makeup. Sure anymore, so don't worry. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. No. And I hope you guys are doing amazing. And no. I'll see you in my next video. No. Bye. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Sure. Whatever. Bye. Don't care. So, yeah, that was, that was a whole bunch of nothing. We got absolutely nowhere. Uh, yeah, yeah. She's on a mystery diet. 
on, let me come over here. She's on a mystery diet of lower carbs than normal and she may or may not be losing weight but she's not going to tell us because if she tell us it's going to ruin it because you know because we're going to be hypercritical and it's like bitch we're hypercritical anyway like because look at you you're you're a giant round moon-sized person so yeah we're going to be a little bit hypercritical but Again, this this m mysterious bullshit. Oh, whatever. I don't fucking care. <sighs> All right. Hey, I'm Mama D. Again, if you made it this far, let me know anything I could do to make this more entertaining, more fun for you. Shut up. Talk more. Shut up about my mom. I don't care. Let me know, and I will happily start making changes um, to how I do these. I, I just want to get to a thousand viewers and make a little bit of money. I, I don't need a lot of money. I, I wouldn't mind making enough money that I can put away to savings, so then I can help my son and or my daughter buy a house. They're Gen Z and millennials. I just want to help them. And then if I can get away with it, I would love to do what my sister did. And she opened up a halfway house. I, she did it for, cause she abused drugs. I would do it cause I'm non-binary. I would like to open up a safe place for kids whose parents basically just get the fuck out of my house. Gay children non-binary, transgender. I would love to have a safe place for them to go to while they get their feet underneath them. I would love to do that. So I would love for this channel to take off so I could do that. Um, I would love to. But anyway, I am Mama D. As I always say, do what makes you happy what gives you fulfillment because we only have this one life you know do what makes you happy just don't do any harm any harm that that's mental physical anything don't 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 do that okay and i will see you guys next time have a great day okay short <laughs> see you guys next time